uh, in order to remove this cassette deck from the, uh, the center unit, you need to uh, remove six screws um, on top three and on bottom three. And uh, from the uh, here, from the back side, three screws, and also from here, front, uh, from the front, you need to remove the three screws. Total of six. Okay. Go. Now, the cassette deck itself. <laughs> this one is the uh, feather touch one. I mean, not the you know um, piano button like a, you know you have to strongly push this one uh, feather touch just that uh, you can press a little bit and it move everything um, and uh, this is the uh, the belt main drive belt and the back side is like this so from the outside you see the uh, this belt main belt front one and the other belt here the second one but um, very tricky. This one has the also another one underneath the uh, these plates. So you have to replace three of them. And the belt size is uh, these are the original. Uh, it has a four belts. Uh, one of them is the uh, for the counter, and the other three is for the cassette deck itself. And uh, okay, this is for the counter and the flat belt and the two others. And then um, <coughs> this one I bought from the, this company through eBay. They have on their website, but I just use the eBay. And the total is the uh, 20 20 dollars almost, including shipping. So I combined all purchase, four of them, and the shipping was the uh, discount. Not bad. Now uh, let's see the uh, the cassette deck I already dismantled. So always draw a, uh, the pictures by yourself the, and the pi uh, take pictures or videos. Uh, it, it will help you when you put them back together like this. And, uh, okay, this one. Um, this is a gear. Fly wheel and uh, one of the gear, other gear, and this one. Okay, and the screws here. So, uh, as you can see, you need to remove many parts in order to replace the uh, very bottom uh, one. Uh, on top, you can you see uh, the uh, these two uh, when you remove this uh, this panel, but underneath the uh, this panel, this panel should be here. There's the uh, this gear like this, and uh, you remove this one, and then you see the belt here. So very tricky, <coughs> and uh, uh, also I forgot to mention which. Uh, wires, which cord you need to remove before you um, remove the, uh, this cassette deck itself. Um, <coughs> you have to remove the uh, total of five wires. Um, okay, this one and this one. There's two wires here, and the other three wires are in here. The center unit. So you remove three wires from here and remove two wires from the center unit, and uh, it's gonna be free. Uh, you can remove the uh, this cassette deck. Okay, 
like this. Now one, two, three, four, five. Actually, um, it is the uh, four. This number one core is the uh, not connected to the uh, cassette deck, but in order to remove this one from the uh, back side, uh, you need to um, <coughs> put aside this wire and remove it. And you can put it back right away, or you can leave it. And after you set up everything, four wires for the cassette deck, then you can put them, this wire back. So actually, the four wires you need to remove from the uh, from and to the cassette deck. Okay. Um, this is the uh, inside. Like this. Which is pretty clean. So I... Um, not like this one. This one is very dusty. See? And this one needs a lot of the uh, cleaning before the uh, you know in, um, installing the belt, but probably underneath these um, panels, stairs, it's much better than this place. Anyway, <coughs> okay. First of all, this one is going to be um, let's see. <sighs> okay. Yeah, this could be. Uh, hmm. Yeah, like this. Right, like this. This one goes like this. And. Uh, oh. the belt from here to here so it's very tricky also um, there's a lot of the uh, um, um, oils or uh, what can I say like uh, you know these the uh, oil or anything around these places which you don't want the belt to touch yeah this black one is the uh, grease so always be careful when you put the belt back into here and also before you put the belt you want to clean with the uh, loving alcohol <coughs> Remove uh, all that and the grease using the uh, Q-chip and uh, around here. We don't want to touch any belts onto these, these things. And sometimes I found too much grease was the uh, applied and uh, which makes, which attract a lot of the uh, dust and uh, you know eventually it's gonna affect the uh, cassette deck sooner or later so the gears want to be clean and of course the, uh, the these pulleys have to be clean look at this, these are the oil which is not good <clears throat> I think this is the oil also the uh, color from the belt um, the belt um, it's gonna it's gonna melt like after 10, 20 or 30 years later the belt itself is going to be mel melting away so at that time it's gonna create a huge mess so before that you want to replace the belt okay and this one too yeah 
like this. This is the uh, you want to remove these black things, which is probably from the uh, grease or probably from the belt. As clean as possible in order to make belt work correctly. And also, um, you want <laughs> to wear the glove. I forgot, but uh, wearing the glove will help you not touching the uh, um, grease with your naked fingers. These things is very difficult to remove from your finger, and you have to wash away before you install the uh, belt. So you can. Um, where the the graph. Yep. Okay. All right. Um, I buy um the blue <coughs> medical like graph. This one at the Dollar Tree. And that are for like a 10 grams and which help me a lot. This guy. Okay. Uh, let me wash the, my hand and come back again. Okay, I'm back. So, <coughs> the first things, first of all, is the SCB 3.8, which is the uh, the small one. It's small now. So, this one goes to the uh, underneath of the uh, everything, <laughs> so you need to find out where it is um, by removing most of the panels. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna use my glove, and I'm gonna use the, uh, this um, <coughs> alcohol to clean out everything. I already cleaned around here and I cleaned the uh, this one too. Okay. okay. Now um this one. And I put it in the alcohol like this. I always do this. a little bit but not too much okay and uh, um, this is also the first time for me to replacing the uh, Fisher cassette deck so I don't know I can go smoothly but probably I have to put the belt here first and hold like this probably and uh, the other side of the belt in here and pull them and oh. no. first I need to set up this one probably it's not convenient like uh, this type of the belt and then is the moving panel. It's already the uh, the grease or something like that is on the belt, so I need to clean them out again. Okay. All right, one more try. Put it here, here. and uh, pull like this, probably. Set from the top. No, set from the. Okay. Okay. this
Could be okay. Should be okay. And uh, this is the uh, screw here. This spring, okay, this, this spring goes to here. And the big, I, I, I always make a mistake that the, when I try to set the spring back, just spring go away, jump out and I lost, I lose it. So always be careful with when you're doing the uh, spring set back to the original position like this. Okay, seems like it's okay. Now, um, <coughs> after uh, pressing this, I think after uh, the other one is easy much easier than um, this small one okay let's take a uh, picture for um, I put the uh, many pictures on the Instagram these days that I can see again I can review it again and I can remember what I did so uh, this is a fast build Okay. Now, before go uh, get into the uh, second belt, I think I'm gonna have to. This is the first one, and I'm gonna have to put back the. Uh, no, this here. No. Yeah. Oh, this one. This one goes here. Here. Like this. And uh, this spring will go back to here. Yep, like this. And uh, after this panel, I'm going to put back this gear onto here. So this panel is set we see uh, these <coughs> screws and uh, this washer the golden one here already one of them is here and this one is goes here okay like this and the other one is goes here this yep probably I'm not missing anything I guess okay. and it has to move smoothly and uh, I don't think I miss anything This is why uh, the spring is this side. Here, okay.
check. Oh, no, this one is move smoothly, so I think something is wrong with my setting. See, this plate is moving very smoothly, like this. So, but this one don't move. Some move at all, so I think I did something wrong. Let me check. Yep, something is. Huh? What is wrong with this? Here's try and errors. It's been occurred many, many times to me, and each time I'm gonna remove everything and start from the um, the problem occurred. So this is should be like this, according to my drawing, and there's nothing wrong with this. And there is nothing wrong with this. So set okay. Oh. Uh, now I understand what is going on. I'm gonna have to a uh, hold the cassette deck up. Probably touching something. The uh, some button is touching, and it's gonna stopping this plate moving up or moving down. So after I place the uh, these screws. No, something is very... Something is not right. It's not smooth. And uh, what is going on? This thing is pressed. Did I miss something? I don't know. It is very easy. Oh, okay. Now the reason was here is the uh, uh, golden washer. Okay, I put this one upside down, so the washer should be washer. Uh, this washer uh, needs to make space between the uh, this steel and uh, downness of the uh, this steel so and uh, checking this washer um, you know yeah this one is correct this one is uh, positioned correct but this one was the wrong so the this washer is upside down so I have to put that like this Yep, and uh, set it back again here. Okay, you make a little space uh, than before on the top side.
here you okay this time is okay um, this plate moving easy because of the uh, there was a no space on the top side it's stuck but right now it's okay and uh, put the uh, this spring back to the original position this should be easy like this all right now plate is set back to the original position and moving easy i can um add the 100% uh, silicone oil to here but not too much um, I don't want to <coughs> contaminate the belt with the, uh, the oil, silicone oil or whatever. Okay, now next is this. Okay, this one will go back to the okay, side. This one will go back to like this. And uh, let's clean up. Always remove the old grease and I put a little bit of the uh, new grease will help um, this gear move so smoothly and the old grease sometimes it's dried up and uh, it's become you know hard and hard hardened um, grease will prevent this belt moving smoothly i mean this the uh, gear moving smoothly so let's test set it back here yeah like this and uh, this gear uh, yeah here should be a uh, this and uh, it has to have a uh, yeah, this one C grip and uh, putting back the C grip is also very difficult things usually you know oh hold on. And, uh, <coughs> grease And I also put a, a little bit of the uh, silicone, uh, I mean synthetic uh, oil, a little bit for the heat, this one. set back the uh, C-clip here please don't jump just uh, stay there okay now um, everything will be perfect to set set up uh, now, now with the, uh, these gears okay all right then after this gear
um, fly oil will come back here and the belt to the uh, motor to fly oil for you like this and also the uh, from this pulley to center of the, the fly oil here so let's clean up the uh, fly oil wheel wheel Mostly uh, when I clean up the uh, the cassette deck, I use the uh, this um, <coughs> uh, loving alcohol, which is the uh, seventy percent, and sometimes I use the uh, fifty percent or ninety nine percent. Mostly seventy will do the work, and the alcohol. Always, the, we have to be very careful with the alcohol because the uh, it's gonna um, melt. It's gonna it's gonna affect the uh, the color of the plastic. Or, uh, <coughs> and always, the uh, don't forget to keep this one. This one goes to front of the the uh, <coughs> fry oil. I mean this one. So, clean everything up. And this one, this one still clean, but um, sometimes I use the uh, this um cleaners to clean up the steel. Because there was a residue, uh, residue, residue from the tape or dust. So clean it as possible uh, as possible as I can. That will help the uh, sound quality up. Okay, much better. Then um, put this oil again. A little bit inside of him on the outside, and put back. There is a two washers inside already. And put back here slowly like this. And uh, okay, nice. And always don't forget to put this one back <coughs> to the uh, this side from the this side. Yeah, that side. Now, um, from here, um, I'm gonna have to set the two belts, which is the uh, these two. Okay, one of them goes to the motor free, and one of them is going from here to here. SCQ 4.8 and FRW 9.2. Two of them. Okay. And the motor. Um, the this grommet was the uh, worn out and the motor was the very uh, unstable position so I used the, uh, the small cork to make it a little bit you know, <coughs> stiff not moving at all I mean not at all but the uh, yes uh, it won't tilt okay now let's clean up the motor <coughs> Puri and the other parts. This one. And this one. And my dog Lucky is barking at uh, somebody, probably my son or my son's friend. Okay. He's a good watchdog. I uh, I'm always working in the 
this basement and I can see uh, like a postman came or somebody came to the door at the door because of the lucky so thank you <laughs> All right. okay everything is okay now okay I'm back uh, the cassette I mean camcorder just shut down because of the storage was full so I just uh, up uploaded it, the uh, data to the computer and came back here All right. now let's um, start with the <coughs> fly hoil belt probably um, all I can do is set this belt um, set this belt to here like this and uh, while holding this belt here I can set up the uh, the second belt all right like this now um, <coughs> put this uh, motor back to here right so set this panel onto here and uh, <coughs> remove the flat belt to the motor pulley like this yep okay this way here uh, I can set back the, uh, the belt easy and There's the four screws. Uh, so you put this panel onto the cassette deck. And the three of them, uh, <coughs> I think this one. <coughs> because of there are of the uh, wires, so these things have to be set up with the screws. And the belt will be a. Uh, I mean, oh. I can organize the uh, the these uh, electric wires. Okay. Okay, like this. Uh, let's check. We see this one here, black one. Oh, here. Okay, this and this one, and here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. This one goes to here, and the other one goes to here. And uh, oh, this one is here. One, two. One, two. These two should move to the uh, this side. Alright, so because this side, uh, this the uh, PCB panel comes to, so these two this one first, and this one. Okay. 
this one go to here this and last one goes to here um, <coughs> I'm allergy of the dust so whenever I start cleaning up the boom box I always have the uh, allergy symptom so I think you may notice in my video uh, a lot of coughs or sneezing or something like that okay now put this one back to here uh, Okay, it's gonna be like this. This one is like this. Right? And uh, there's a memo drawing. And uh, one of the screw has the uh, washer. So put the uh, washer in here. And it is the uh, this side. And wire here. Okay, and other side is here. Okay. Like this. Then put the wires like this. All right. Um, set four wires back to here, and this wire and the yellow should be connected like this. And this red one goes to this side along with the blue one and this wire has be hole here like this who is here And here, put everything back together like this. This one is also like this. With this wire, yellow is here. Hmm. I think I need to remove this one again and uh, set back the wire correctly because here uh, this yellow one has to be more free. Yep. Right. But I can do it later. So this is how I install the uh, three bells inside of the Fisher PH480 cassette deck. And uh, <coughs> clean out this side and uh, put the uh, the belt for the counter and uh, test it. Yep. Okay. That's it now. Uh, the cassette deck is set up here and uh, I am going to um, adjust the tape speed. Um, the motor is here so I need to <coughs> access motor access to the motor while I am doing the, uh, the speed adjustment okay. And always using the uh, T1 um, tuner. This is the uh, my favorite, easy. And uh, <coughs> okay. And you have to have the uh, uh, tape 
for the uh, water speed adjustment and uh, um, screwdriver, small one. And uh, using the uh, the scotch tape on top of it. Let's use this. One. Like this. Um, this will prevent uh, the short inside of the motor speed module. So. Um, the best one is uh, not the steel one, the plastic one, if you have it. Oh. <laughs> That's the best, best one, but uh, if, if you don't have it, you want to cover here, like this, and cut. Okay, this should be easy. Okay, like this. All right, let's start. Let's start. Almost, almost there. So probably I need a little bit. Almost 440. I think it's perfect. Alright, so <coughs> let's test the sound of uh, my favorite one. 